78 years ago today, on June 6, 1944, the Allied powers in World War II embarked on the largest amphibious landing of all time and one of the largest airborne assaults with more than 150,000 troops onto five beaches on the northern coast of German-occupied France in Normandy. Each year, hundreds of U.S. Armed Forces members stationed in Europe and from U.S.-based units with historical links to D-Day join service members and civilians from all over Europe to recognize and honor the men and women of the greatest generation. I'm here in Carrington, Normandy, France, where for the last five days the town has joined the military forces of the United States and other countries in commemoration for the 78th anniversary of D-Day and the Battle of Normandy. They perform music, march in parades, and honor the deeds and sacrifices of Allied nations during the memorial period of 1 to 9 June in the region of Normandy, France. This celebration takes place every year, and it reminds us that we are stronger together when we work with our allies. Reporting from France with the 1st Infantry Division and the 113th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Marimar Rivera Medina.